This lesson is on subtraction with regrouping. And what I mean is, anytime that you have to subtract and borrow from another place, like in this problem, 194 minus 87. We look at the ones column and we say that you can't take seven from four. So we go to the tens column and we have to borrow from the tens column. Now please encourage students to go one column at a time. Just deal with the ones place first, then move to the tens, then move to the hundreds. So we're going to look to the tens first and we're going to borrow. And what we say in class is take one from a friend, move one over, keep the four. So now we have 14 minus 7, which we can do. 14 minus 7 is 7, 8 minus 8 is 0, 1 minus nothing is 1. So our answer is 107. Now I feel pretty confident in most fourth graders ability to do this kind of problem. The basic borrowing like this where there's no zeros and there's not a great amount of place value, these I feel like they're pretty comfortable doing. It's subtraction across zeros that they have a little bit more trouble with and it gets a little more confusing and there are more steps so we try to break it down in a different way. For example, if I have this problem, 202 minus 187. In this problem, when they go to the tens place to borrow, there's nothing there, and that's when they get confused, and that's when they start doing nines instead of tens, or even some of them go down to eights for no reason. And so we, um, a colleague of mine and my mother came up with a wrap that goes for this that breaks it down. It makes it a little bit more fun. It explains the steps that we want them to do, and it's going to look a little different than what you learned when you were in fourth grade, but we've had great success with this method. Here's how the wrap goes. I go next door to Bo, but he doesn't have any, so I slide on over to a number with plenty and I box it. Then I take one away, I move the one over and the other number stays. Word. So now that they've done this, let me break down the wrap and really show you what we teach them. Okay, if I have 202 minus 187, I tell the students, here's the wrap. I go next door to borrow, but he doesn't have any. I ask them to go ahead and underline that next place so that they know where to finish boxing. So, go next door to borrow, but he doesn't have any. So I slide on over to a number with plenty. Now two is the next number that has some to borrow from. If it was the thousands place, then we'd slide all the way over to the thousands place. So I slide on over to a number with plenty and I box it. Box those two numbers starting with the zero and make sure that you don't box the ones place. So I box it, then I take one away. 20 minus one is 19. So that's what I want them to write above the box. So I box it, then I take one away. I move the one over and the other number stays. So now instead of two, we have 12 and we can do 12 minus seven is five. 9 minus 8 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is nothing. So 15 is my answer for this problem. Let's look at another problem. Okay, in this problem, 2,105 minus 767. Okay, I also cannot take 7 from 5, so I go next door to borrow, but he doesn't have any. I underline and I slide on over to a number with plenty. Now this time the hundreds place had a one to borrow from so we're going to stop at the hundreds place but if it was also a zero then we'd move to the thousands. So I box it then I take one away. Now one minus ten is nine but please encourage students to make sure they put that zero there so they know they've already borrowed here. Instead of just the nine do zero nine. So I box it, I take one away, I move the one over and the other number stays. Word. So now we can do 15 minus 7 is 8, 9 minus 6 is 3. Now here's where the next problem comes in. I can't take 7 from 0. So I tell students to start all over. Look at one column at a time and pretend like they're starting with 21 minus 7 or 20 minus 7. 0 minus 7 you cannot do, so you go next door to borrow, but he does have some to give you. 
So all you have to do is take one from a friend, move one over, keep the zero. Now we have 10 minus 7 is 3, and 1 minus nothing is 1, 1,338. Let's look at another example. Okay, in this problem, if I have 1,543 minus 280, 3 minus 0 is 3, and now we get to the tens column and we cannot subtract. So just because I'm starting at the tens place doesn't mean I do things any differently. I can't take 8 from 4, so I go next door. Now he has some to give me, so we will not box for this problem. We only box when there is a zero in the place that we need to borrow from. So we go next door, he has some to give me, so I take one from a friend, move one over, keep the four. So now I can do 14 minus 8 is 6, 4 minus 2 is 2, 1 minus nothing is 1. Let's do one more. If I have 10,204 minus 8,456. I know this is a complicated problem, but in fourth grade this could very well be an issue. So encourage them to go one column at a time, take care of one problem at a time, and remember the steps that they've been taught. Okay, we're going to look at the ones column only first. Not even worry about the rest. I can't take 6 from 4, so I go next door to borrow. Here's where my wrap comes in. I go next door to borrow, but he doesn't have any, so I slide on over to a number with plenty and I box it. Then I take one away, I move the one over and the other number stays. Word. Now I can subtract. 14 minus 6 is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4. 1 minus 4 I cannot do. So we start all over. Ignore everything that we've done so far and we start over. We can't take 4 from 1. So we go to the next place. We go next door to borrow, but he doesn't have any. So I slide on over to a number with plenty and I box it. Then I take one away. Remember, 0, 9 instead of 9. I move the one over and the other number stays. Word. Now we can subtract. 11 minus 4 is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1. 0 minus nothing is 0. So 1,748. Okay. This is how we do subtraction with regrouping. I have the words for the wrap also on the website. Encourage your students to practice it and have fun with it. Thanks so much.